Well, I don't know how many of you go to the builder's merchants with a view like this in the background. Unfortunately, the weather isn't fantastic, but there's lots of snow up. Uh, and I'm just here picking up, not some wood, but some cement. So good morning and welcome back. It's been a few days and uh, we're back. Today is the 8th of December, which is uh, Immaculate Conception. Um, so it's a bank holiday in Italy and also in Austria, which is why we're here for the long weekend. Uh, it's Thursday, so Friday's off. Um, the tarp is still there. I've just got the machine back out. I've got some concrete on the back of the quad. Uh, so I'm going to head up and see how waterproof it was because everything is pretty wet. It was, uh, seems to have rained in the night, um, which I didn't notice at all. But um, but yeah, no, we got in pretty late last night. It's nice and warm in the house. The uh, the pellets are, are doing their job. So uh, so yeah, everything's good. I'm hoping to get uh, to get some more done. Although at lunchtime there is a village feast, so. I should be going there for that, and I don't suppose I'll be doing much this afternoon afterwards. Uh, I'm down with the whole family this time, so um, again, that will reduce the amount that's done. But uh, but for now, I'm going to get straight on with it. Okay, well, it seems to have held up okay. Um, doesn't doesn't seem to be particularly wet here. Um, probably more so, obviously there but nothing disastrous. Um, so yeah, well, this is where we stopped. Uh, and I basically just need to keep going down to the bottom there and get that line set up. So what I'm not going to do this time is untarp everything. I'm just going to untarp what I need to untarp and fold it back and hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll do. So there's my hole, which I can cover quickly if it does rain, although it's looking lovely out at the moment, as you can see. That's quite a cute view there. Um, first bucket, um, and it's nowhere near. If you remember, we had to do all of this building up uh, here. It really is just leveling. So I'm just gonna pour it on and level it out uh, and put some, some stones in it just to save, just to save concrete. But um, yeah, this should hopefully not take too long um, so I'm just going to get stuck in. I can't really get a tripod there to film it uh, while I'm doing the top bit. But when I get down there, I'll get the tripod set up. So as we move down the wall, you can see I'm really going up against the shuttering because um, that's what the gable will eventually be fixed to. So there'll be one of these basically, but treated on the outside. And that's where the roof will end and the metal work like that, but a little bit prettier, uh, will be fixed to. So that's one and a half of four bags that I bought. Um, so we're going to be short again, but there we go. So after two bags, the weather is starting to close in, um, which is a bit of a pain, but I want to get at least another 80 kilos up there before I stop for lunch, um, because that'll be all I'm going to do today and that'll give it plenty of time to set and I can re-pull the tarp. Um, across the top but yeah it's funny i mean i know it's the middle of december and i shouldn't be complaining but it's not particularly cold um and it was blue sky and sunny this morning it's cloudy and horrible over there so it's uh, it's hard to tell what's going to happen still back to work okay well i didn't get the tripod set up as you can see i'm under a little bit of stress here because i don't want it to pour down on this now but that's pretty good um, it's bound in, it's on two thirds of the width of the wall, which should suffice happily. Um, down to about here, here, I've basically just run out. Um, I've run all the way down once. So, 
obviously bank holiday i'm not going to be able to get anything today but i will get some more tomorrow and in fact by then it will be dry um so i might actually put the definitive gable pieces of wood in and then i can fill them back that would probably be the cleverest thing to do um because then everything will line up perfectly when i get the slats on so uh that sounds like an idea because then I can get actually the, the perfect point at the top of the roof um, set it up here so that it all fits in with that um, and I can screw my bits that I cut last time on I bought some big long screws but again it's so easy to underestimate the amount of uh, of anything I mean I underestimated the amount of, of of stuff that just comes out of the walls every time you make a little hole if you remember when I was drilling through for the uh, for the pipes that was cubic meters and cubic meters of uh, of rubble coming out of little tiny holes so um so i underestimated massively the amount of uh, of concrete that i needed but um i just keep buying more and more and eventually we'll be there i don't think we're far off now so if you imagine that basically i've done filled all the way down once but not quite there in the middle or here uh, and that was four bags i think with another five bags um, I should be completely sorted and fill out whatever needs filling out on the other side too. So I'm going to go and pick up five bags of that tomorrow. It is exponentially more expensive for some reason. One of the few things that really are, really is um, that much cheaper in Austria. So um, yeah, well, uh, I'll just have to sit on that. It's only five bags. It won't, uh, it won't kill me. So there we go. Um, I'm now going to pull the tarp back over and just tie it on provisionally uh, and then I'm going to have a shower and go for a lovely village lunch which I shall take you with me I won't take you with me into the shower I don't think that interests anyone anymore um, but uh, but I think lunch might look at that there are still some roses blossoming in mid-December it's an amazing amazing uh, bush that um, and completely uncared for. I need to do some uh, some proper pruning and looking after. But I will have a a rubbish chute coming out of that window soon, so I'll have to move it out of the way and probably trim it a lot before that. Right, time for a shower. Okay, so. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank Okay, well, it's the next morning. We had a delicious lunch and, uh, and early to bed. Um, but today it's raining and not just a little bit, it's raining properly and it's going to rain all day. And that uh, is a pain as always. So we're gonna head down uh, towards the coast, do some shopping. Uh, I'm going to pick up the rest of the concrete that I need to, to do the roof because tomorrow apparently it isn't going to rain it's very variable at the moment which is um, which is good I guess um, but if it doesn't rain tomorrow then I can finish that up and get the gutter gutter mounting set up and so on so that would be um, that would be a good start but for today everything is just getting a little bit wet um, but the tarp is there, but it obviously doesn't uh, doesn't seal as well as it uh, as it would if it was a proper roof. So um, yeah, that's that's about the size of it. The quads wet, everything's wet. It's just just grumpy weather. Um, on the upside, I guess it's not not cold. Right, so um, I'm gonna finish getting ready, and then nice jumper, head into town, um, pick up some some bits and bobs.
So it's the next morning again, and it's not raining today, and it's not going to rain today, so I've come to collect my bits of wood, my lats, will go on the roof. As you can see, I'm using the old pickup truck again. Uh, I'm going to go and pay for these, and then head back up to the house. Uh, they won't be going on today, there's still some more concrete to go up, um, but I'll show you that when we get up there, and I'll show you how much water actually came in. So not the warmest of drives, and oh how they laugh when they see me going past until they understand the true brilliance, the true brilliance of, uh, of my Volkswagen pickup truck. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's going to be sunny up in the village because we're a little bit higher apparently, according to my iPhone, which I don't trust at all anymore. Um, so I'm going to be able to, to get quite a lot done today and I was going to be going back to Austria tomorrow but that would be uh, a bad idea because the roof is very far from done so uh, I'm going to be staying for another couple of days and then I shall be going back by train so the rest of the family will be driving back and I shall follow along by train okay well I've got my wood uh, as you can see a lot of water came in um, I'm going to be taking the ceiling out completely and all of the plaster so it's not really the end of the world and in fact in the middle it's not too bad but uh, around the edges it I mean you can see daylight it was um it was pretty terrible weather yesterday uh, exceptional rain and out here I mean, the tarp is still on but it's, it's up at the top it's tearing through from from the weather so um so it's definitely time to finish up um yeah that's about it so i'm going to i'm going to try and work out what the best plan of action is because i'm not convinced yet um of the order in which i need to get the these next couple of steps done so i need to fill out the the top of the wall there still with um concrete all the way down to the bottom and over on this side as well, just the bottom corner. Um, and I don't know if I should already put the the gable wood up and then backfill onto that or not, and then take the gable wood off again and treat it and then put it back on. So, so I'm not quite sure. I'm going to I'm going to have a look. Okay, well, as you can see, the weather has changed. Finally, it's bright and early in the morning. I've just sent the family off. Um, they're on their way back to Austria and I'm staying here uh, to get this finished. So first things first, I'm gonna get the tarp off. I've already untied it on the other side. It is beautiful, but quite windy. Um, so hopefully this goes okay. And there we go. Everything's opened back up. This has come up really nicely. The other side, um, it's still cemented. I've got my bits of wood that are going to go up on the outside there, the gable, which the, see the metal work on that roof there, um, which the metal work will fix to. So it would probably be a good idea to get them fixed on now um, and then to fill out the rest of the concrete. So there's a little bit at the bottom there that needs lining up. Um, this beam isn't even in yet, so that's going to need bolting down. Um, yeah, basically just getting the last little bits ready, getting cement in there, and that'll probably be most of what we have time for today. There it is, trimmed level, that's the middle point of the roof. Um, ready to be bolted on um, so that I can get the other one lined up with it. And then, uh, and then I can finish up the, the concrete this afternoon. And that would be excellent. So as you can see, I'm just getting the second one squared up now. It's taking much more time than it was supposed to. And uh, you see the overlap. That's obviously because this wall isn't even straight. It's bendy, so it pushes them out. And it's, well, it's one of these never ending ones, but uh, I'm almost there now. I'm going to put two bolts, I've got two bolts in that one, put two bolts in this one, fix it together at the top and then get the cement mixer going. The weather's closing in slightly but uh, I'm also losing daylight so I need to get a bit of a shift on now. Okay well the gable is now on and lined up 
um, don't mind that plank in the way. So I can now definitively backfill uh, cement up to it. Obviously I'm gonna have to take the gable off again um, and stain it and treat it, uh, which I'll do once the cement has set a little bit. Um, and then obviously it'll need more bolts uh, and fix it properly into the, into the new concrete. And then uh, from there, it's then actually getting on with the lats and all the rest of it that are over there. So I'm going to go and mix some cement now. The sun has gone behind the, well it hasn't quite, it's, you can see it's gone behind the cloud, but it hasn't gone behind the hill yet. Now the weather forecast says no rain at all and it had better not rain for the next couple of days because the tarps are down here uh, and there's no way I'm going to get them back up on the roof now. So hopefully this time for once the iPhone weather forecast will be good. Right, I'm going to go mix some cement. So just as it was last time I was here and over the last couple of days as soon as the sun goes down the temperature drops very sharply. Um, so I'm going to call it a day for today. I did get some uh, concrete done, just that line up. Um, there's still more to do tomorrow. I'm hoping I have enough. I think I have enough. Um, I've been saying this for, for days and weeks, but I think I have enough. So that's going to be it for today. And that's going to be it for this video. Um, I shall be back on straight away tomorrow morning um this probably has become quite a long video because it's been many many days of uh sort of doing and and then not doing again because of the terrible weather but uh but it looks like the weather's cleared we've got uh two full rain free days um and that's excellent so everything needs to be finished and set up tomorrow um so that i can get the roof under workings set up the day after tomorrow so tomorrow's monday um, that's going to make things easier too no more bank holidays and just normal days i can go and pick up stuff i have a train booked on saturday so i've got time uh, i shouldn't rush it because i had to do some concrete uh, remodeling over there on the other side because uh, i'd obviously done things in the wrong order so i used a little bit too much concrete but, well, these things happen. Learning by doing, as they say. But it's definitely getting there now. It's beautiful. Um, so, yeah. Once again, thank you all very much for watching. Um, thank you for your comments. Thank you for your encouragement. Lots of people bought t-shirts and things, which is always surprising, but always very nice. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. I have lots of them, uh, and I think the quality is quite good. So, um, so there you go. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, do subscribe, tell other people, um, and that way we can keep growing um, and I can spend more and more time doing this. Uh, until then, take care and bye bye for now.